Okay guys, so basically I'm going to do something super, super crazy. I'm going to swatch for you my entire Jeffree Star lipstick collection. Let me just show you. I've got two of these full. So let me just give you a quick rundown of what I've actually got. I've got three of the lip ammunitions, so I'm going to swatch those first for you. And I've got 44 of the Velour Liquid Lipsticks. 44. So I've got the Summer Collection, which is the five pastel sort of shades. I've got the most recent Christmas Collection, which is seven colours. And then I've got every single other shade except for one. I'm missing the pure white one, which is called Drug Lord. I just can't get my hands on it. I've tried. It's been out of stock for ages. As soon as it comes in stock, I will be purchasing it. And I'm also missing two from the very, very first Christmas collection that he did. The green one called Mistletoe. And there's a red one called Ho Ho Ho. But I believe that's very similar to one of the other reds. And I do have the green from the recent Christmas collection. All of the other colors will be included in this video. So I'm ready. I've got micellar water with oil. I've got a gigantic packet of wipes and I've got Garnier oil, which is fantastic for removing matte lipsticks. And I'm probably going to have Kylie Jenner lips after I finish. I'm going to be like, like a Kardashian. So I'm trying not to make this intro too long because uh, I have got like 47 lipsticks to swatch. So I just want to get into it. So first I'm going to swatch the three lip ammunitions that I have. I'm just going to take off this lipstick that I'm wearing now. The first one I have is X Supermodel. So this is X Supermodel. And this is a really bright pink. And the staying power of these lipsticks actually is really good. They stay on really well for a tube lipstick. So that's X Supermodel. The next one I have is a slightly darker pink. And this is Baby Spice. So as you can see, this is a little bit more of a bolder pink, but I love this color. It's freaking gorgeous. So that one's Baby Spice. And the last lip ammunition I have is Celebrity Skin. So that's Celebrity Skin right there. And I'll just quickly show you a swatch of this one compared to Celebrity Skin in the Velour formula because they're not actually the same shade. So this one here, that's Celebrity Skin in the Velour Liquid Lipstick Formula and this is the Celebrity Skin in the Lip Ammunition that I have on my lips right now. So as you can see, it's a lot warmer in the Liquid Formula. So that one was Celebrity Skin. Alright, so now we're going to get into the Liquid Lipsticks and I'm going to start with the Summer Collection and I'm going to start with the lightest shade which is Nude Beach. So this one right here is Nude Beach. As you can see, it's quite a pastel color and it's just a tiny little bit streaky. So that one is Nude Beach. So the next one is Queen Bee and this is a yellow one. So this one is Queen Bee and as you can see, it's really bright. It's really yellow and it's not a very easy shade to wear. So that one's Queen Bee. So the next shade that I have from the Summer Collection is Virginity. So this one is Virginity. This is a really nice purpley toned pink. It's really quite unique. I don't own anything like this at all. Even though I feel like it's quite, it could be quite a common lipstick color. So this is Virginity. The next color also from the Summer Collection is this one here. And this is called 714. So this one is 714 and this is quite a bright pink color. I would say this is quite similar to X Supermodel. I'll just do a quick swatch of those next to each other so that you can see. Okay, so right here is 714 and this is X Supermodel in the lip ammunition formula. So X Supermodel is a little bit darker and a little bit warmer. But once again, that one is 714. The next one is Watermelon Soda and this is the very last color in the summer collection. And it smells freaking amazing. So this one is Watermelon Soda. And it's a really deep, dark 
pink and I love it. This is such a beautiful color and I can see why it's in the summer collection. Very summery, very bright, very beachy. So this one was watermelon soda. Okay, so that was every shade in the summer collection. So now I'm going to start with all of my other velour lipsticks and then at the end I'll swatch the Christmas collection. So I'm going to start with I'm Nude. So this is I'm Nude and honestly, this is probably my most used color. This is a must have. I mix this lipstick with so many other lipsticks. You can create beautiful ombre looks or you can wear it on its own. It's so versatile, such a basic shade and I love it. So this one is I'm Nude. The next one is Mannequin. So this is Mannequin and this is your basic go-to nude. I wear this one all the time. This is a very everyday, extremely wearable color. I love this one. So this was Mannequin. So the next color is Celebrity Skin. So this is Celebrity Skin and this is my go-to glam nude. I always wear this when I have full eyeshadow, full makeup done and honestly I always mix like a little bit of I'm nude just in the center. This one was Celebrity Skin. The next shade is Posh Spice and this is more of a grey nude. So this is Posh Spice and as you can see it's quite a grey cool toned nude. So this is Posh Spice. The next colour is Leo. So this is Leo and as you can see it's a really earthy toned brown. I feel like this would be really nice on deeper skin tones, but it's actually just a really beautiful earthy brown color. So this one is Leo. So the next color is more pink and this is Gemini. So this one is Gemini. This is a really pretty dull pink color. Very nude, very wearable. This one pops quite a bit on lighter skin tones like mine, but if you were of a darker complexion, this would be a perfect pink nude for you. So this one is Gemini. The next color is Androgyny. So this one is Androgyny. And it is a little bit similar to Gemini. I'll show a swatch of them next to each other so that you can see the difference. So this one here is Gemini and this is Androgyny. So as you can see, Gemini has more of a pinky undertone and Androgyny is more leaning towards the purpley sort of side I feel. But it's still got quite a bit of pink in there. So Gemini is definitely lighter. So this one was Androgyny. So the next color is Rose Matter. So this one is Rose Matter. And this is a beautiful bright pink color. I do tend to wear this one quite a lot in the warmer months. It's just a beautiful go-to pink. Like This one looks really nice with a gold highlight and like just a wing liner, minimal eye makeup and just rose matter on your lips. It's just beautiful. Rose matter. So the next shade is Doll Parts. So this is Doll Parts and this is a beautiful bright pink color as you can see. So this one is Doll Parts. So the next one is a lot more brighter. This is Queen Supreme. So this one is very bright, very bold. I don't think that I would be brave enough to wear this one out in public, but I do love the color. It's really beautiful. So this one is Queen Supreme. So this one is a purpley gray nude. It's quite cool toned. And this one is Scorpio, by the way. So as you can see, this is a very purpley cool toned nude. It's quite a pretty color. It really makes my eyes look really blue, actually. So this one is Scorpio. So the next one is Bright Orange. And this is Flamethrower. So this one is a really bright orange color, but I feel like it's so beautiful. Like you don't, you don't really get many true orange lip colors like this. A lot of them lean more towards the red category, but this is just bright orange. It's just really pretty. Once again, I don't think that I'd quite be brave enough to wear this out of the house. I'm not really sure. I'd probably have to tone it down a little bit with something else, maybe nude beach in the center and uh, maybe a darker lipstick on the outer corners. But 
It's still a beautiful color and it's bright orange. So this is Flamethrower. The next color is a hot pink and this is Prom Night. So this is a really bright, fun pink color. I love this color. This would look fantastic if you have green or hazel eyes. It would just make them pop like crazy. But this is Prom Night. So the next color we have is another pink and this is Maso Masochist? 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 And this is Masochist. So this is Masochist. And as you can see, this is a deeper version of Prom Night. It's, it's not as bright. It's more bold. It's really nice. I've, I've said every single lipstick is nice. I'm like, oh yeah, this is, this is it. And it's really nice. Oh, and I really like it. Of course, I really like them. I have every single color. So once again, this is Masochist. Okay, so the next color is one of my favorites, and this is a orangey red sort of color, and this one is called Anna Nicole. So this is Anna Nicole, and as you can see, it's freaking gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, man. This color just makes me feel so glamorous. Like, it just makes me feel like, roll me out a red carpet because I'm ready to make my debut. Or something like that. <laughs> Anyway, so this one is Anna Nicole. The next color is a red, and this is just your basic everyday sort of red. I feel like there's a lot of colors exactly like this on the market, but I feel like the formulas aren't as good as Jeffrey's. He has an amazing velour liquid lipstick formula. I love the formula. So this is Red Rum. So this is Red Rum, and this is your basic run-of-the-mill red. It's very beautiful, it's very luxurious. I feel like everybody needs a red this color in their lipstick collection, so if you don't have one, maybe you should get this one. So once again, this one is Red Rum. So the next color is Rich Blood. I feel like the formula of this one is a little bit of a thicker consistency compared to the other ones that I've tried on also. So I don't know if that's got anything to do with the shimmers that are in it. But I don't know if you can see. It's supposed to have a little bit of a sheen. I think it's after you. it's dried. I've seen Jeffrey rub his finger and the glitters come out. But it's not really doing that for me. And I just wanted to mention that this is a little bit darker than Red Rum. This is more of a blue toned red, I feel. It's a lot deeper. So once again, this one is Rich Blood. So the next one I have is Unicorn Blood. I love this color. I feel like it's very vampy and it's very sexy and I want to say that it's like a reddish brown undertone. I wouldn't say it's a deep red because it's more, I feel like it's got more of like a brown earthy sort of color. I feel like it's got a very similar undertone to Leo actually. So once again, this one is a unicorn blood. So the next one is Dominatrix. So as you can see, this is a very chocolate brown sort of color. It looks like I've just done an Augustus Gloop and I've just dipped my lips in the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory River and I was just like, oh, I wish because then I could like lick it off. But this is a very nice, I feel like this is such a sexy color as well. Like it's very 90s, it's very grunge. It's very bold. And I feel like you don't need to wear a lot of makeup to make this work. You can just wear dominatrix and just have basic eyes and just be like, bam. So this is dominatrix. So now we're getting into the more fun sort of colors. So the next one is dirty money. This one is not streaky at all. For a bright pastel-y sort of color, it's very full coverage. It's very like one swipe and the colors applied. So I would probably never wear Dirty Money out of the house, but it's such a cool, fun color. So this is Dirty Money. The next one I have is Breakfast at Tiffany's. So this is Breakfast at Tiffany's, and as you can see, this is Pastel AF. But this is a really fun color. So this is Breakfast at Tiffany's. The next color I have is Jawbreaker. 
So this is Jawbreaker. This is just another fun, really cool, crazy color. A nice sky pastel blue. As you can see, makes my teeth look really yellow. So that's the only problem with these blue and purple sort of colors. So once again, this is Jawbreaker. The next color I have is Blue Velvet. So this is Blue Velvet. And I'm sorry if you can hear background noises because my neighbors have just decided to vacuum their house. Awkward because I'm filming a video, guys. This is Blue Velvet. As you can see, this makes my teeth look quite yellow as well. But out of all of the blue toned lipsticks, this one is definitely my favorite. I definitely want to do a tutorial using this color because I feel like it would be really, really fun. So this is Blue Velvet. So the next color I have is Blow Pony. So this is Blow Pony and I absolutely love this color. It's so cool, it's so pretty, it's so fun. I probably wouldn't be brave enough to wear this out of the house but I really wish I was. I feel like this would be super awesome with like a yellow eye, like yellow eyeshadow. Oh, so pretty. So this is Blow Pony. So the next color is I'm Royalty. So this is a really beautiful deep purple color. It's like a Cadbury's purple. It's reminding me of chocolate. Now I want to eat some chocolate. So this is just a really beautiful deep purple color. And this is I'm Royalty. The next color is Abused. So this one is a navy blue borderline black lipstick but it's not it's definitely blue and this is a really cool color once again I feel like this is really 90s this is really grunge it's very different from anything that I own and I really like it so this is abused the next color is a weirdo so this is widow and widow is black it's just a black lipstick as you can see, I didn't have any trouble applying this at all. It's extremely, extremely pigmented. You could use this as an eyeliner as well. Double it up as an eyeliner because all of these lipsticks are eye safe. So this one is Weirdo. So next I'm going to swatch you the three metallic shades that I have. And the first one is Pussy Whipped. So this is Pussy Whipped and it's a really pretty gold orange metallic shade. This is probably more of the nude one. But as you can see, it's just really pretty. It's just really, really pretty. So once again, this one is Pussy Whipped. The next one is No Tea No Shade. And this one is a really pretty, it looks brown, but it's not. It's more of a burgundy a burgundy red undertone and this is a really pretty color I feel like this is really wearable also it's more of a winter glam sort of color so once again this one is no Tino shade the last one I have is bright pink and it's called dream house I feel like this one is the most metallic of them all and I don't know if that's because it's the brightest color because the other two were quite the first one was quite nude and the other one was quite dark but this one's really shimmery. This one's really pretty. I like this one. It's definitely very Barbie. So this one is Dream House. All right, guys. So now I'm going to start swatching the Christmas collection. And there's seven shades in this collection. The first one is pink and it's called Chrysanthemum. So this one is a really nude pink. And I feel like it's a little bit hard for you to see on camera. But there's actually gold reflex through the formula. So it's got like a little sheen to it. It's really wearable, so pretty. I, I really do love this shade. And this one is called Chrysanthemum. The next one is called Deceased. So once again, this one is in the grey nude sort of family. I feel like this one's very similar to Scorpio. I'm just going to do a swatch of them next to each other so that you can see. So this is Scorpio right here and this is Deceased. So as you can see, Scorpio is a lot darker and more purple than Deceased is. I feel like this one's a lot easier to wear. So once again, this one is Deceased. The next one is called Sagittarius, and this is also quite similar to Deceased. So I'll show you a swatch of this next to Deceased as well. So that's Sagittarius right there, and that's Deceased in the middle. So as you can see, this is more purple toned. So this is Sagittarius, and as you can see, it's a lot more purple toned, and it's actually a lot warmer than what Deceased is on the lips. 
I feel like this is a really wearable color and this would go really well with blue eyes. I feel like the purpley undertones really brings out the blue in the eyes. So once again, this one is Sagittarius. The next color I have is a metallic orange and this one is called Pumpkin Pie. This one is an absolutely gorgeous color. So fun, so bright. I feel like this would look fantastic with a really brown matte smoky eye. This is Pumpkin Pie. So the next one I have is an orangey toned red and this is called Checkmate. So this is Checkmate and this is a really bright red. I'm just gonna show you a swatch of this one next to Anna Nicole because I feel like they're quite similar. So right here on the end is Anna Nicole. In the middle we have Checkmate and on the end I just swatched a little bit of red rum so that you could see the difference in tones. So as you can see Checkmate and Anna Nicole are really quite similar but Anna Nicole is still a little bit more orange than Checkmate. Checkmate's got that, it's got that little bit more of red mixed into the formula. So once again this one was Checkmate. The next one is Designer Blood. So this is Designer Blood and I freaking love this colour. It's so vampy. It's like a deep burgundy. It's darker than Unicorn Blood. I'll show you a swatch of them next to each other. So right here, this is Unicorn Blood and this is Designer Blood. So as you can see, Designer Blood's a little bit darker, but they're really quite similar. I do love this one and this is Designer Blood. Okay guys, so we've got one last colour left in the Christmas collection. And this one is green. This is Crocodile Tears. So, <laughs> obviously this is very green. This is like very holiday, very Christmas. It's like the color of Christmas trees. And I don't think that I would ever wear this lipstick outside, but I, I think that it's a really fun, interesting color. And I really like having it in my collection. So this is Crocodile Tears. And this was the last lipstick in the Christmas collection. So now I'm going to swatch for you the Jeffree Star Many MUA collab. So the first lipstick in the Jeffree Star Many MUA collab that I have is Daddy. And this is a beautiful brown colour. So this is Daddy and it's a beautiful deep brown nude colour. I feel like it's quite similar to Posh Spice. I'll show you those two swatch next to each other. Okay, so just here, this is Posh Spice. And this is Daddy. So as you can see, Daddy is like a darker version of Posh Spice. I feel like if you mix them together, like if you put Posh Spice on the inner of your lip, I feel like that would be a really beautiful ombre lip combination. So once again, this one is Daddy. And this is the last lipstick that I have to swatch for you guys today. So this is I'm Shook. So this is I'm Shook, and as you can see, it's a really deep pink color. It's the exact same color as Kristen from Kylie Cosmetics, exactly the same. They're like the exact same shade. But this is I'm Shook, and I friggin' love this. I was so excited for this color when Jeffrey and Manny announced it. I did like a little happy dance. I was like, woo! Because usually Manny only brings out nudes when he does collabs with companies, but I was so excited for this, and I friggin' love it. So this one was I'm Shook. So that's it guys. I can't believe that we actually made it through. I actually just swatched 47 Jeffree Star lipsticks on my lips. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I like to put the swatches in just because I feel like some people aren't sure exactly what color they want to purchase and it's it's easier if you can see a comparison next to all the similar colors and then you can make up your mind that way. So I hope that part of the video was helpful. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to go have a funeral for my lips now because they are actually about to fall off of my face. So if this video was helpful to you in any way, please give me a thumbs up and please click the subscribe button just below so that you can be notified of all of the videos that I post in the future. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.